The college football playoff teams were announced this past weekend. Always a fun debate. Georgia, the number one seed, taking on number four, Ohio State. Number two, Michigan will tackle TCU. Shannon, do you like or do you have a problem with the final four? I have a problem with it. Um, Skip, every team that lost a game dropped. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, so how the hell did LSU end up at number 17? Mm. They lost the game. You look at right. you look at USC. They lost the game and dropped. Right. How the hell does TCU lose the game and remain the same? I just need somebody to explain that to me. Okay, but who did you want to rise in their place? You know who I wanted to rise. Uh oh, roll tide. The Alabama Invitational. Mm. How you have the Invitational without the host team? We were supposed to be there, Skip. We lost two games. Alabama. Let's see, we Alabama lost two games on the final play of the game. Ohio State got drugged at home mm -hmm. by 23. They did, 45 to 23 it was. And they, they did this on purpose. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why they put Ohio State in front of Alabama, because they didn't want Alabama to get in there. TCU didn't drop. When Alabama lost, they dropped in the ranking. USC lost, they dropped in the ranking. Clemson lost, they dropped. Every team that's ever lost throughout the course of this season, when they lost, they dropped in the rankings. Yep. And if, even if you look at the final playoff rankings, if you lost, you dropped. Except TCU. Why is that, Skip? Mm. I need somebody to offer me an explanation. Mm. Well, I got one for well, you. Well, we'll, we'll take off with it again. I will defend TCU on this count. They lost to Kansas State in the Big 12 title game in overtime, and it's the same Kansas State they had beaten in the regular season by 10 points. So at least you could sell them on the fact they beat that team during the regular season. And listen, if, I don't know if you have to watch the game, but Max Duggan in the fourth quarter yeah. against Kansas State in the Big 12 title yeah. game, he was the ultimate warrior because – he, he, he ran for 95 yards just in the fourth quarter alone and got them to overtime. And why they quit running him, I guess they thought he was out of gas, but they got stopped twice at the one-yard line. And, and you know Bryce Young was hurt when he played mm -hmm. Tennessee. He had he just did. came back off an of injury. Okay. We are better, they were a better team right now. But let me ask you a question. On a neutral field, who be favored? Alabama or TCU? Probably Bama would be a slight <laughs> favorite, but I'm, I'm not sure I would pick Bama to win that I game. I would. I'm not sure I would. They'd be favored over everybody in the college football playoff okay. except Georgia. At, at Tennessee, ain't Nick's defense gave up 52 points? That's yeah. embarrassing. 52 points? Uh, uh, where, 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 where were they? On the road. Okay, they're on the road at LSU, and they gave up 32 points, albeit in overtime. Final play. The, and all that being said, it was the final play of the game. Okay. I did tweet this. I'm going to give you this one. I do believe that my eye test tells me that Alabama was slightly better than Ohio of State. Of course. Okay, because I can't defend 45 to 23 at home, it, even though they roared down and took a 7 to nothing lead. But I know what the committee is looking at. If, if you look at their, their Big Ten play, they, they dominated the Big Ten in ways that Alabama did not dominate their SEC competition. Uh, the Big Ten play, really? Look at all these, look at all these uh, uh, teams that's in the uh, uh, final college football ranking from the SEC. You got Georgia at one. Yep. You got Alabama, Tennessee. Who else down there? You got LSU. Yep. You got South Carolina. You got okay. Mississippi. All right. I got it. Y'all got Georgia okay. and Michigan. And, All right. I mean, the, Michigan. And, uh, okay, but here's the point. In, in the biggest picture, this was one of those weird years when I just wish that Georgia and Michigan could just go ahead and play for the championship because they earned the right to me. Both of them earned the right yeah. to play each other head-to-head -head for the championship. True the talk. others backed in. Everybody they did, they else did, backed they did, in, they did, right? They, they lost. Skip. The best player player in college football is Jalen Carter, number 88 from Georgia. Yeah. That defensive lineman. Really, 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 really <coughs> excuse me. Skip, he's better than all five of the guys that went in the first round last year. Even the yeah. guy that went number one overall, and we, we, we talked about it last year. Yeah. I said, they got a kid number 88. He can't come out just yet. Yeah. But he's better. You did. You said that. Okay. Man, did you see no, what he Skip? Did I, you I see? Did. Skip, he picked a grown man. I mean, he's a young man. Mm -hmm. He picked him up in his arm and then put one over there. It's like, I got him. I got a title. We go. I'm like, did this man just pick this man up he in did. the field of play, Skip? I saw it. I agree. I, I'm with you. And by the way, Stetson Bennett, I, I won't be mad if he wins the Heisman Trophy <laughs> just on career achievement because 
All he does is make plays. He yeah. threw four touchdown passes yeah. in that game. Yeah. I mean, he's he's just a good college yeah. quarterback. Yeah. That's all he is, yeah. period, end of yeah. story. But he's a really good college but quarterback. But now he's the greatest quarterback in okay. Georgia. Right. The greatest quarterback in Georgia history. Okay, so I'm with you on one point. If you just wanted to sell this for marquee star power, just just ratings interest level, then what, what I would want, I would want St. Nick with the, the reigning Heisman winner, and I would want USC as much as I hate stinking Lincoln. <laughs> I told you last year Caleb Williams was the best quarterback in yeah. college football last year. Yeah. So if you just want his star power, he threw 37 touchdowns to six interceptions, and he was hobbled against Utah. The problem is stinking Lincoln just – they play no defense. That, that, that defense but it was, it's, it's Oklahoma all over again. <laughs> okay, terrible. so they give up 43 to Utah right. and lose at Utah in the regular season. And then they give up 47 to Utah in the championship game in Las Vegas. Yeah. It's not good enough to merit no. being in this, this final right. four. I mean, but, I mean, just imagine if you got Georgia, Michigan, Bama – Ohio State. Okay. You or, got or, blue blood. Or, or USC. USC. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm good with that. I, I get that. If that's if you just want the star power of it, but I still think TCU earned the right to be in this little tournament. Yeah. I, it, I think the thing is they didn't want to see Ohio State and Michigan again, so they left I TCU. So. Although, although I think people would have eaten that up. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'd watch it. Oh, absolutely. You had to see if it was fluky to right. see what might happen. So, But, but uh, TCU going down to the Peach Bowl yep. in Georgia when it just went to SEC. Yep. Uh, you thinking they got a home field advantage? Huh. <laughs> now, wait. Isn't your producer, <laughs> the, the, your researcher? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, she, she's from TCU. TCU. She's purple to the core, right? Let's go, Bulldogs. Wow, okay. I root for the Bulldogs. As you going down, you, and I, t- I had already well, told her. You're going way out on a limb on that. I think she's going down. She's going down. I mean, it was set, SEC, Skip, it was set up for me. SEC. USC and TCU. I, mean, I, I told you it was going to happen. I said, Skip, <laughs> you watch. Both of these teams going to lose. I said, Alabama going to back door right up in that thing. Nope. Nope. They conspired Sorry. to keep Didn't us out. out. You, know that's true. you lost two games. <laughs> they and conspired. I can't say I'm crying a river about it. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. Let's talk some hoops. How strong is oh, Anthony oh Davis's oh MVP? Maybe Jay Watch. Odell Beckham Jr. Check off the Giants. He's already met with them. And now he's scheduled to meet with Skip's Cowboys today. According to reports, those meetings will not include any workouts for Odell. Okay, so now Jerry Jones is telling reporters OBJ not working out, not going to be a deal breaker when it comes to potentially signing the free agent. But Shannon, what do you think? Should him not working out indeed be a deal breaker? No, um, and um, Jerry's made it abundantly clear. I think Jerry really wants him because he said, Skip, I want this to work. We've got a quarterback that can really make music with him. I think we've got an offensive line that would give the quarterback time to make music with him. So Jerry is saying all the right things. Now, Skip, uh, I, I think Odell coming off of uh, ACL surgery, going to get a physical, went to the Giants, got a physical, went to the uh, uh, going to the Cowboys today, probably take a physical, have their doctors look at it, probably get some more imaging done. Hey, looks good to me. He's not going to work out. Um, is that uncommon? Maybe uh, for this time of year. But Odell just isn't any street free agent, Skip. Normally, most street free agents, when I was in the league, they come in on a Tuesday. Yep. They work out. They, you know, they run the 40 and they do drills on the field. But that's not where Odell is. Odell says, look, I had off-season surgery. Here's my medical records from my doctors. You have your doctors take a look at me. If you like what you see, sample it. Hey, let's make a deal. Mm. And so that's where they are right now. Jerry has made it abundantly clear. The incident that happened last week is not going to deter he, us from deciding had, on Odell. He had no him, use for it. He just dismissed it. Him yep. not working out. He said it. It's not going to deter us mm-hmm. from signing o, OBJ. So mm. OBJ is not going to work out from anyone. I don't have a problem with this. It seems to me uh, he's going to meet with the Cowboys today, make a decision by some uh, – Skip, if it was about winning, he said the Cowboys haven't lost since that. The Giants have uh, tied a game, lost a game. Um, Kansas City, I'm sure they're a Buffalo. There are some other teams out there. But for me, I think for Odell, the best situation for him right now mm. would be the Cowboys. Yep. De- depending on the money, you hear the cap's going to be like 220 something million next year, which would bowl well for Jerry. Yep. Because uh, they have 6.3 million in cap space, have a little bit more next year. So, Skip, theoretically, they could do. This.